Marty, get the number of this hotel they're staying at and call them. I want to talk to the operator there. I want to be patched through to the NFL owners. <laughs> hey, the NFL owners are meeting there. Okay. Yeah, could you patch me through to them? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Hilton Hotels Corporation. <laughs> the Los Angeles Sleep Foundation. I don't believe you. You go in there. I'm going to die. Has created a She's getting of security. She's tracing it. NFL? Yeah, this is uh, Mike Trevisano from WTAM Radio in Cleveland. Yes. Are you guys close to making an agreement yet there on the announcement yet? We don't have any idea, sir. They're locked in the room. There's been no communication. Really? That's correct. There's no way I can talk to anybody in that room, is there? No, sir. Nothing I can do to speed it up? <laughs> no, sir. I mean, we're so excited here in Cleveland. We've got money. I, I don't think I could do anything. How about if I put a last-minute bid in? You think they'd listen to me then? Mm, probably not. No, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> do you know the whole city of Cleveland is just standing by their radios right now? I, I, I would hope so. I'm serious. I, I don't know what to tell you, bud. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for the help anyway. All right, take care. All right. Well, I tried. Hey. WTAM 1100, you're in the air. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Hey, I, 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 hey, I tried, didn't I? Yes, you did. That yeah. was that was excellent. Let me tell you a couple things, okay? Yeah. I love your show. Thank you. Okay. Don't give me a butt, okay? I'm not going to give you a butt. Oh. I just hope, kind of, that you're wrong. Why? Because I don't want to hear you all next week saying I told you so for two years. I That's the only reason. I want you to be right. Believe me. I, I promise. I only say it for two days. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Let's go, Casey Breaking Coleman. News. Breaking yeah. news. Yeah, they're uh, they're assembling. The media is trickling in, and um, despite the fact that they only delivered pizza about twenty minutes ago, apparently we have reached a decision. Case, can you hold Football. on? Can you hold on one sure. second, real mm -hmm. quick, and let me go uh, to Fred Edelstein live from Chicago. Fred, are you there? Yes, I am. Fred, do you have a prediction? Well, I just spoke to an owner who came out of the room who told me that Al Lerner is the new owner of the Browns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fred, uh, thank you very thank much. You, Fred. Fred. <laughs> Fred Edelstein making the prediction that they're going to announce Al Lerner. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I know you're all interested in the, our decision, and uh, the membership uh, voted unanimously after more than five hours of discussion with one abstention to uh, accept the offer of the Lerner policy. <laughs> So Alfred Lerner, uh, Carmen Policy, will be the new owner of the Cleveland Browns. Well, as promised, uh, Bernie Kozar on our hotline. Uh, Bernie, uh, <laughs> what, hey, Mike. What, 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 what can I say, Bernie? <laughs> hey, well, we got the crew here. You got uh, myself, uh, Carmen, and uh, Mr. Lerner. So you got the threesome. Uh, well, <laughs> three amigos. <laughs> got the three amigos. Just want to give you a quick hi. We're heading uh we're going to be heading downtown to uh 10 o'clock press conference and uh, obviously pretty excited. Carmen, how you doing, Carmen? Well, Michael, it's uh it's been very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, For you I, too, huh? <laughs> oh, I've, I've had the benefit of not only the excitement, but my education's been advanced by Al Lerner. <laughs> I'm uh, on the verge of getting my MBA yeah. as a result of this past, uh, how long has it been, Al? 49 days, 47 days? 47 days, I think we counted. 47 <laughs> days, and I've gotten about a year's credit. Al, uh, what was the atmosphere in the room? Uh, were you all three years together waiting for this uh, announcement? Yes. And what was the, yeah, any, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall there to listen to you guys. Uh, it would have been a very bored fly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were talking about dinner. We were, didn't have much to do. I could give you a little scoop, Mike. Sure. One of Bernie's uh, definite uh, uh, roles will be helping the Cleveland Browns uh, pick a quarterback for the upcoming uh, season in mm. 1999 and probably... Uh, our quarterback to be selected from the draft. Hey, uh, we're going to switch over now. Uh, we're going to bring out uh, up uh, Mark McGuire. This is Mark's second at bat tonight. Uh, one more home run. You may hear history here. And here's uh, Mark McGuire's second at bat of the night. He grounded out in his first. Mark McGuire just hit number 62. You heard it live right here at WTAM 1100. I don't think we can deliver any more for you sports fans. I really don't.
Let's just listen and enjoy. History was made not only in St. Louis, but right here in Cleveland on WTAM 1100. Fred Edelstein, uh, thank you for all uh, the your, man. your help out of Chicago today. No problem. My pleasure. Yes, and of course, uh, we had it on the air here first as uh, you broke in and told us that you talked to one of the owners before the press conference and that Al Lerner was named owner of the Browns. The interesting thing over the last few weeks is that it turned out that Howard Milstein just didn't have the money and was kind of a uh, blowhard about this whole thing. Yeah. As yeah. a matter of fact, it was interesting because evidently... Uh, Howard or his people had heard me on your show during the afternoon saying that he was out. Mm -hmm. And he called and, and wanted me to know that, that he wasn't out. And I told him that he was out. He was <laughs> arguing with me that he wasn't out. And I said, well, technically, maybe not, but they're not talking about you in the room, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Use out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Fred Edelstein is in Chicago. You're getting a report from inside the room that Milstein is basically out, even though they haven't told him yet, and he's arguing with you. Exactly. Yeah.